Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Joel Fisher. This is my wife, Orna. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Uh, we've been at the church for about 13 years. I've been an elder for a couple of those years. Um, we're picking up in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. There's kind of a transition in verse 8 uh, from where it goes from husbands and wives to finally all of you. And so uh, 9 obviously follow, follows along that uh, transition, but uh, we're going to, all of you, Spouses, you are part of that, all of you. Not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. And so revile, definition is to criticize in an abusive or angry, insulting manner. Or as King James says, railing. Um, you need to be careful railing against one another. And, and, and even to a point where you need to be careful... If you've had a, some type of disagreement, going away and allowing your own mind to continue to rail against your spouse, or you're, I'm thinking this and that, and they should do this and that, and I'm going to do this and that, you need to capture those, capture those thoughts into the obedience of Christ. Joel calls this particular um, uh, returning evil for evil as a negative feedback cycle, negative feedback loop, and, and we've seen this um, with several couples where um, an example would be the husband messes up with finances and in response to that the wife is losing trust in her husband and in response to the wife losing trust um, he starts to speak unkindly to her and then in response to the speaking unkindly she starts to pull away intimately from him and then in response to her pulling away with intimacy then he starts speaking even more unkindly and, and not being caring and her response to that then is to disrespect him she's lost all respect for him in response to you know not feeling trusted not feeling respected and then on top of that not having any intimacy before you know it this whole cycle leads him outside of the marriage and so how do we break this cycle it's got to be um, as followers of Christ who are called to this as it says is that we've got to break the cycle both of us should both Orna she should see this cycle see that this is not going well and she should forgive. She should seek um, uh, to bless me out of selflessness for my good, and I should do the same. I should see, what, what can I do to help Orna? What can, I, what can I do in this situation? She's done this that, is, that has hurt me. She's done this that has frustrated me. What can I do to bless her? And that doesn't mean necessarily you don't correct the things they've done wrong, but you correct it in a way, and you bring it to them at a time, in a manner that's a blessing to them. Not a reviling, not a coming against, but a coming to lift up and a coming to encourage. And, and don't expect that every time that's going to work out well. I, I can't, well, we've been yelling at each other for years, and now I said one nice thing and did it, did it once the right way. It's not all of a sudden going to be perfect. You both have to come together and, and in steps uh, break this cycle of, of negativity that happens in a relationship. A practical way to apply this so speaking to wives, um, to your life is, um, you know, I think there are the childish, petty, immature thoughts of, well, he didn't appreciate it, so I'm just not even going to do it anymore. Or he didn't say thank you, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, but a practical thing to apply to your, to your life is remembering that you love Jesus and remembering that you're appreciative of what Jesus did for you. Knowing that you were called to not repay evil for evil. Remembering that you are appreciative of what Jesus did for you can help you to bless your husband. God doesn't call us to this for us to grind through a marriage. He calls us to this so that what? So that you may inherit a blessing. This is for your good. This is for your benefit. So you have a wonderful marriage. So, so that uh, when you go off to work, the people around see, man, this, this guy, this girl, they have a great marriage. They, they think highly. They say good things about their spouses. And it's, it's a blessing that God has given us in our relationship. So do that. Don't revile one another. Don't give evil for evil so that you may inherit a blessing. Happy Valentine's Day.